Go back to 50 and we'll get set up and then I'll kind of go through the P280 with you. Okay, for communication between the P280 control and the PLC itself, there's a formula that we have to follow for the weld programs themselves. I'm going to go step around to this side. The first program in our link of programs, link being programs one through up to five, coming down the list you have a squeeze time, we've set in 50. This is the allow time for all the guns to come down and become under equal pressure. And the squeeze time of 50, we only want in the very first program in the sequence. So on program 50, I've got 50 set there. On programs 40, I'm using 50, 30, 50, 20, 50, etc. Hit the B button again, now we go to impulses. This is where we're going to actually set it up for the welds themselves. And on your parts, generally we will be running with two impulses. Cool time of 0, 1, an up percent per cycle of 0, a heat time. This is where we're going to adjust how long the transformer is on per impulse to actually develop our welds. Our heat percentage, this is the amount of current we're going to use to actually develop the weld or your penetration actually in the weld itself. Currently these are set real low for where we're just sequencing and cycling the machine. Your down percent per cycle set to zero. Your hold time, you'll notice we've got set to zero one. And this is true on all programs except for the last step. And I'll kind of cover this shortly as we're moving on. But so for all programs except for the last one, we use 01 in the hold time. And the next critical feature is that in the off time, you put in 02. That is the length of time we're going to be sending a signal to the PLC to tell it that we have completed a weld and it's time to sequence up to the next step. So, just to recap, your Cool time, impulses, heat time, and heat percentage are what's going to actually make the weld. Those numbers can be set anywhere you need them to to make the appropriate weld. Squeeze time is there to allow the guns to come down and develop full pressure. Hold time and off time are used to communicate with the PLC. So in the first step of any sequence of programs, that's the core or the basis of the program we need. Now I'm going to go to 51, which is actually going to fire the second transformer out of the five and I've got a squeeze time of 02 now. Previously we were at 50, now we're at 02. Reason being, the guns have already energized, they're already down, I don't want to delay there any longer than I have to before I sequence the next transformer. So a squeeze time of 02 is the minimum allowed to put in there. If you put in anything less than 02, it actually defaults to 30, which will make it slower. So squeeze time of 02 in all the remaining steps except for the first program number. Impulses, again, cool time, heat time, and heat percentage are strictly going to be the weld itself. Whatever it takes there to make your weld, and you're real familiar with these controls, so you'll know about where that's, those should be for your machine. Down percent cycle, again, at zero. Off time, again, at zero, one. And your off time at zero, two. This pattern will continue all the way through until the very final program. So if we go to 52, it's going to look exactly the same. Two on the squeeze time your actual weld, one on the hold, two on the off. When we get to 54, which is the fifth program in this set, we're going from 50, 51, 2, 3, and 4 makes the fifth program. You notice we still have two in the squeeze time, right, and then our actual weld, a hold time. Now you notice I've got a hold time of 25. The reason for that is we've made all the welds. Our first transformer has had all the time to hold since it made its weld for all the other transformers to fire and we've got the delays built in for that except for the final weld. So this allows us to keep pressure on that final weld for 25 sixtieths of a second to allow the weld to cool before we separate. And finally an off time of zero. This is what denotes to the PLC itself that you finished all the steps in the control. So when it gets to this point, it's counted that it's welded five times, it sees that there is no signal left, and it shuts off and goes back to the beginning. This is the pattern that you'll use no matter what programs you build. If we go to program, say, 40, we've got the same scenario. 50 on the squeeze time, we've got our weld program, one on the hold, two on the off, and we go from 40 to 43. 
43 is the final sequence because we're using four programs at this point. And we've got a hold time of 25 and an off time of zero because that is the last sequence in that step. So essentially we've chained together up to five programs to allow us to have a different heat percentage or a different weld setting for each of the individual transformers. So as we select the number of transformers, we've set it up to be also with the corresponding number on the control. So five transformers start on 50. Four transformers 40, three 30, right on down the line. Finally, on this side, you've got your program lock. If you lock this, it disables the B button so you can no longer get into the program, but you're still able to change to the different program numbers. So with this locked and the key pulled, the operators will be unable to alter the program that is in the control, but they will be able to change between the corresponding transformer numbers as necessary. So just to recap, key back in, turn it back on. We've got our startup screen. We're going to go to transformer selection, and I'm going to choose I want five transformers on, and then I'm going to choose my program till I want to go for five transformers. It says set the control to 50. We have set to 50. I'll hit the back button. I'm going to go to the gun selection. I want to make sure that all my guns are enabled. In this case, all 20 guns are on in previous. And then I'm going to go to the operator screen. Now, right now, I've got a red light on failed safety. I'm going to shut off my left side palm button because I'm the only person working on the machine. And just so it's equal. Now, what I'm going to do, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to make both palm buttons. And you notice absolutely nothing happens. I haven't turned on my water yet. I've got a failed safety. So I'm going to step over, turn on my water. You'll hear the pump start to run. And then shortly once that starts spinning, you should see the fail safety go dark, which you just did. And now when I sequence the machine, we've sequenced through, well with five transformers, you can probably hear it. Just in case, I'm going to turn up my heat percentage a little bit just so you can hear each of the transformers firing. And as you can see, I'm going to each program number set to a low state while we're just sequencing through the machine itself. We'll go back to the beginning. Sequences through, welds with all the transformers. Now for instance, if I wanted to weld with only half of the transformer, or half of the guns, let's say I'm going to shut off the front half, I strike the bottom left quadrant of the HMI, you'll see that it goes to red, and now when I sequence the machine, you see the back row fired. If I wanted to reverse that, go to the front, front, and so depending on which parts you're running, how you want your gun sequencing to go. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go to program 40. I'm going to leave the operator screen. I'm going to go to my transformer selection, and I'm going to turn off bank number five. So transformer five is off. I'm going to now select that I want to use four transformers. It tells me to go to program 40, which I've already done. Now we're going to go back to the operator screen and fire the machine. You'll notice the back four guns never came down because we've shut off their transformers, so there's no reason for them to come down, so they shut off automatically. And basically that's how you're going to be using your machine. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-835-2965. Thank you. Also, we wanted to show you one air condition that can be fairly common. So, what I'm going to do, we're setting on program 50. I've returned on my fifth transformer, so everything should be ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit e-stop. For some reason, I strike the e-stop because I didn't like the way something was looking. And you notice the control automatically switched to 51. If I then pull it up and I then start to go, my control is off one sequence from where it should be. I can strike e-stop again and it'll go back to 50 and we're ready to run. 
but if for whatever reason, let's just say you're on 50, you hit e-stop, you power it back up, and then we go ahead and run it. Now you notice the guns have stayed down. It's kind of in a locked up condition. We're sitting on program 55. All you have to do to clear that error, strike the e-stop, pull it back up, hit it again, and you're back to 50 and you're ready to run. But that's the one error that might throw you off if you hit e-stop or you start on the wrong number of the program. You can simply just strike e-stop once it's finished moving and it's locked up. Clear your part, pull the e-stop back up and go to the appropriate number and then you're ready to go.